Spice Mo's top fashion brands of 2018. You know, the good thing about fashion is that you don't really have to try so hard. You can make a statement. You don't have to be a Rihanna to make a statement of your own. You can be yourself and make your own statement. No matter what happens, even if people laugh at you or put you on Insta blog, you'll be fine. Don't worry. Last, last, you've become a celebrity. 2018 has been an interesting year, to say the least. Streetwear has further penetrated the fashion space in ways we never imagined possible. The gatekeepers of fashion aren't the same, and the new generation of designers, ones who have no formal training but know exactly what to sell and how to sell it, are dominating the market. Designers like Ablo, Jerry Lorenzo, and John Elliott have heavily impacted the fashion industry. Designer logos are certainly having their post-early aughts moments in the sun, while more athletic-centric brands have given way to luxury houses that have taken the sporty looks and run with them. Which brands released unique products that consumers wanted? Who among them really dominated the conversations in fashion? Spice Mouse is counting down the top 10 fashion brands of 2018. Hi guys, my name is Chantel Essay. I'm an on-air personality and a fashion entrepreneur. Hi guys, my name is Felicia Ogundi. I'm a fashion entrepreneur. Hi, my name is Belinda Fr, an actress. Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm Tenny Akimpelu. I'm a fashion designer and a TV presenter. And today, we're going to be talking about the top fashion brand for 2018. Number 10, Prada. I love their nylon belt bags. I mean, it's similar to the Gucci belt bag. It's also really stylish and you can wear it with different outfits and all of that. Prada. Like they say, the devil wears Prada. But does the devil really wear Prada? I wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't know who the devil is. Prada, well, I feel like Prada has been on a low this year. Compared to other brands, they've just been out there, just right in our faces. But Prada has just been like low key because Prada is like the big whale in the deep blue sea, just chills under the sea and opens its mouth and eats fishes that fall prey, you know, to it. And uh, but I believe that Prada would do very well next year because uh, what they've been, they've been doing, you know, kind of okay on runways and all that. Yeah, so. You know how funny it is when I hear Prada what comes to mind as an actor? The Devil Wears Prada. Meryl Streep brought life to that movie and Prada just became famous. Everybody wanted to have a Prada product in their closet and I do. I have this lovely black Prada pumps and their brands are amazing. I've had it for like over five years now. No scratch, like the leather is amazing of the hook. And when I go shopping, I'm always looking for Prada stuff. I mean, because they've impressed me. Other brands I have for shoes, when I wear them for a while, I begin to see the wear and tear. But for Prada, it's not the same. I don't know what they use. Maybe it's not, it's not in this world, but their products are amazing. My sleepers, I rock it like God knows. People that know me, I've rocked their sleepers on every other set. It is die hard. I love my Prada <laughs> and the devil wears Prada. I I'm not a devil. Number nine, Nike. Yes, yes, yes. You're confused as to why Nike is there, but then um, I'm a streetwear person. I love sportswear. That's, that's literally what I like. I love tactical gear. So I'm going with Nike because Nike did a lot this year in the fashion industry. They've broken new barriers. They did stuff with a cold wall, which is a UK or is a European designer that deals with structural clothes that has like pockets and like makes it look like futuristic and robotic clothing. I mean, Nike gave us lots of trending stuff, especially during summer from the slogan Just Do It to the collaboration they had with Wizkid, the Nigerian Jesse, and what have you. To be honest, I feel Nigerians really push them more, especially during the period of the Nigerian jersey and the collaboration because, I mean, nobody really talks about Adidas these days. It's Nike, Nike, and all of that. Oh, they also gave us amazing sneakers. Their um, 2018 Air Max to their Dog Mountain running shoes, and what have you. 